Uh, I mean, Jesse's towel did just fall off by accident. Yeah, right. And so did mine at last night's sorority mixer. Trust me, Rocco. Jesse's not interested. We're just friends. Friends can do it. At least that's what Cosmo says. Not that I read the articles, I just look at the pictures. Does your roommate have the hots for you? Absolutely not. Take it. I got plenty more where that came from. Um, do you think, well, would you go out with me tonight, then afterwards we can come back here and get into the same bed? Sorry, but I'm supposed to work on a screenplay with Brody and Kruger tonight. Oh, I see. Brody and Kruger. Nitz, were you just asking me out? That would be weird, huh? Well... No, no I wasn't. <laughs> All right, later. Tonight's a pie of pizza rolls! <gasps> Go, Red! R.A. R.A. Ah! Open the door, student. Hmm. 30 plugs going into one socket, broken windows, severe water damage, and move, please! And an illegal hot plate! Student, let me make myself clear. If you do not clean up this room, Disconnect your machines of mass destruction and get rid of that hot plate! You will be relocated to Walden Pond Hall. The one with only one outlet per- PER FLOOR! You have 12 hours. Oh, and by the way, I had a little chat with the dorm electrician. You're cut off for the night. Good evening, student. <laughs> <laughs> Who brought the honeys? Rocco's buddy Cal. That's cool. And so is that Cal dude. But Rocco still sucks. Oh yeah. Without a doubt. You're putting on the freshman 15 guy. this. I am G-Prime. <laughs> Sober! Mr. Rocco, here's that giant bottle of scotch the president wanted you to drink. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Sober. Rocco, you have to drink this giant martini or I'll be eaten by wolves. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Huh? Sober. Ah! Hey, freak. Can I hang out here? Jesse? Sure, but I thought you hated me. I still do. But Charity just came back, so... There's no time like the present to reconcile. 